Hello, welcome to our first video and this is our first video for the debate discussion and uh, today uh, we have uh, four members including me and two members from second year and two members from third year firstly we have uh, Kim Zhang Wang Mo from second year Kim Zhang Chodin from second year and Ke Zhang Yang Chin and myself Karma Chofel from uh, third year on the first meeting, we, the Cape Baton and Dream Team, sat together and decided upon rock, paper, scissors to choose our topic. After discussion, we immediately started the game. As a result, Cape Baton won the match and chose that we will be speaking for the motion, which is promoting tourism is important for our country. During our second meeting, we headed to the library during lunch break and spent about 30 minutes there. We discussed important points related to our debate topic and each chose two topics to focus on, allowing one minute to cover each point. We also looked up strong reasons supporting tourism promotion and shared essential topic with each other, ensuring we will get evidences and valid points to back up our arguments. For our third meeting, we went to library again at 1.30 pm to delve into the points we had discovered. Unfortunately, one member felt ill and couldn't join us. Despite the setback, the remaining three of us gathered for 25 minutes, exchanging our individual points and sharing findings related to tourism in the town. At the end of our third meeting, Karma Chofel was not able to join us due to illness. Nonetheless, later on, the two of us convened in class and diligently exchanged all the information we have gathered. After class, we stayed back for around 30 minutes during which time he shared his findings with me and together we provided feedback on each other's point, assessing which ones would support by valid evidence and statistics. Adam escorted us to the third year's class, which marked the fourth meeting for our debate session. Each of us came prepared with our points, which we discussed thoroughly, offering feedbacks to each other. Along the way, we identified some points that weren't strong enough, prompting us to revise them. This process took around 30 minutes. Afterwards, with 20 minutes remaining, we shifted gears and engaged in casual conversations. During our fifth meeting, while the 30 students were occupied, two of us sat together for a free class. We discussed our own points, but upon closer inspection, again, we realized they weren't very valid. We also grabbed a book from library to see if we could find any useful information. Hello dear, this is our fifth meeting. While two of our members meet during free class and discuss about their points, we on the other hand could not meet them as we had classes. However, later we sat together during lunch break for 30 minutes and discuss our points as well. Everything went well and we were satisfied with our points. Hello everyone, this is our 6th meeting. During lunch break, we spent around 30 minutes in the library. This time, we carefully reviewed all our points and everything checked out well. We managed to keep track of all the points and evidences. Additionally, we planned out the sequence for the debate. Kenzang will go first, followed by Kenzang Wangmo, Kelzang Yangchen, and finally Karma Chofil. Hello, it's our seventh meeting today. We dedicated this session to discussing points that our opinions might bring up. We pinpointed these potential arguments and did some research on them. It took us about 20 minutes during our lunch break in the library. Hello everyone, so this is our 8th meeting. Unfortunately, for our 7th and 8th meeting, one of the members could not join us. However, we proceeded with our meeting. We decided 
and pointed out our rebuttal point and made sure that it was valid and strong. It took us around 20 minutes for this meeting. Hello everyone, this is our ninth meeting and we joined through video call. All the members were present and we discussed thoroughly about our rebuttal point. We made sure that everything was aligned together with evidences. Additionally, we discussed about how we are going to present our debate as well as to bring extra information for our Q&A session. This meeting took us around 40 to 50 minutes to complete the discussion. Hello everyone, so today is our debate day. It was interesting as well as challenging for us. Uh, I think we should promote tourism because tourism in Bhutan contributes significantly to uh, its economy through revenue generation, job creation and promotion of cultural heritage. And I also feel like it serves as a platform for sustainable development and global awareness. Uh, awareness of our cultures, cultures, rich culture and pristine landscape. Thank you. I think we should be promoting tourism in our country because because the because tourism sector is one of the major revenue generator and that and the revenue generated from that tourism sector can be invested in infrastructure development, education and health. And obviously we have a very beautiful landscape and we should be using it as a UPS for our country to generate the revenue. Thank you. I think Bhutan should um, carefully manage and regulate uh, tourism to maintain balance. Promoting tourism can bring uh, economic benefits and cultural exchange, but it is also important to like, uh, promote Bhutan's uh, unique environment and cultural heritage. Thank you. Well, I personally think it is very important for Bhutan to promote tourism in the country because it is the main source of revenue to the country and it is also the main source which provides you a large number of job opportunities which includes tourist guides and many more. And thirdly, like it is the main thing where cultural exchange program happens between like various countries so it is very important to promote tourism. Hello everyone, so today we'll be sharing some of the challenges and some of the strengths that we face during our debate. So for me, I personally think that the challenge that I faced was due to the different schedule and timing. Uh, it was really difficult for us to sit together and discuss. And then overall regarding the team, I felt like everyone was quite nice and then everyone was cooperative. Thank you. So the managing time was tough for me too, for our debate preparation. So we all had different classes and different schedule and sometimes we had to change our schedule to match each other, which leads to more stress. <laughs> and then um, it was a challenge, but then it taught us how to handle time better and stay strong and things get tough. Yeah. So we encounter challenges in allocating goodness related context and managing our time efficiently. However, the debate was fun and informative as well. For me, the major challenges was uh, to get uh, the database information, which is uh, uh, it is very challenging for me to get database information, especially in the context of Bhutan. So that was the major challenge. And uh, this event, um, everyone was uh, so much cooperating. And I felt like uh, we uh, did very well overall. <laughs>